overall, it was a really good forum to bring together actors from different sectors, for example, um, the agriculture sector, um, and then also, you know, civil society actors together with government actors as well. Another kind of useful aspect of it was that we shared SEI's SDG Synergies tool, which is a way to basically score interactions between um, goals and we led an interactive exercise where the participants themselves got to use the tool to score different policy objectives against one another. So I would hope that that's also um, a nice long-term benefit of, um, of the workshop is that they continue to to look at those interactions and could potentially also use the tool um, for different um, policies that they're designing, right, to actually assess at the formulation stage at the very beginning, the potential trade-offs and synergies that a policy might have and, and really use that in their planning and decision-making um, overall. I think it would be particularly beneficial for the um, climate change department. It would be a really nice way in terms of, you know, for example, Sri Lanka implementing their NDC, which is the Nationally Determined Contribution um, uh, and their commitment that includes climate mitigation and adaptation goals. For example, if uh, you have climate mitigation measures such as the phasing out of fossil fuels, you could use the tool to look at the impacts of that across different sectors and to look at the inequality implications of that, for example, for um, actors involved in the fossil fuel sector. Um, and then for the adaptation side, we know that, um, you know, climate smart agriculture would be quite important to make sure that climate policies are implemented in a way that can build resilience um, of the agricultural sector as well. So I think, um, yeah, just longer term climate change planning could, could utilize the tool to look at the impacts across different sectors.